ideas. We're also going to talk about one of the questions that we had this week was um, how to travel with your wig since people are looking at spring break and going on vacation. So we're going to give you our, idea, our ideas of what we think the best way to travel with your wig is and how to pack it to keep it intact and all that good stuff. Spring break here. I went to get my nails done the other day. Yeah? And you know, I don't know. I don't like glitter, but I like sparkle. I don't know why this made me think of spring break. Because I'm thinking, we're doing spring break. I want a, a light color. Yeah, okay? and I got rid of my red. I got pink. And so I'm going in and I'm picking out this color. And uh, <laughs> she's this is what she does me. Too much bockle. <laughs> too much bockle. I'm like, what? Nothing sparkle? There's yeah, never too, too much. sparkle. Okay, that's... So that's what she picked for me. And I'm like... Okay, there's YouTube. And hi, Diana. Um, And it, there's not such a thing as too much sparkle. Your hat has too much bockle, and so does mine. Ooh, I like me some sparkle. Me too. I'm liking this hat. I like that hat, It gives too. you just a little bit of bling without, like, getting all crazified. On Groves, me. Texas. Where's Groves, Texas? Do you know where that's from? Hi, Groves. Southern California. I don't know where that is. I do know where Southern California is. I mean, California I know. Is. Okay, I know where Southern <laughs> California is. All right, so what I've got on today is the long halo. And one of the things that we figured out this week, um, in any of the wigs, typically you can't do a ponytail, a higher ponytail. You've got to do a low ponytail. But we figured out this week that with the long halo, we can actually do a ponytail that goes through the hole in your baseball cap. Yeah. So we'll show you that. That's what we So did. there's a side view. What you want to make sure is that you just keep it kind of bloused down here where you're not showing the wig line. We just did like a kind of a high ponytail. And then you look like everybody else when you're out. And even this wig has a few little um, baby hairs right here at the nape. So that really helps. So this is Kim in her cute little, I love that pink and orange. I know. I love YouTube. that. That's a color combination that I never thought I would like. But well, and it's it's actually a lot more versatile than what you would think. Mm -hmm. um, it goes with a whole lot of stuff. So. Sorry. Where's my phone? Is that your phone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm doing the the halo, the wavy halo bob. Is that what mm -hmm. they're calling it? Yes. In Mochaccino art. What color were you doing? Um, this is the marble brown long root. Okay, which I never understood why they're doing long root, but anyway. I think that they just do it because it's ombre. It's not the real marble brown where it's... It's not chunky. Yeah, it's more... Variegated. That is my least favorite word she in her hates that I, word. I do. I'm like, <laughs> variegated. Okay. Um, highlighted and low lighted. This is more of an ombre look, so you can tell... It's a little lighter, but just Mobile, pull a little bit. Alabama. Just pull a little bit down here to kind of hide the cap. And... Yeah, what I did is just went right across here and just pulled just a little few wispies out on her, and that just made it good. Anyway, if you don't know what a halo looks like, it's easier for me to take mine off, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, because I'm pretty well settled into this. So this is the new wavo ha wavy <laughs> halo bob. Sorry, I just noticed this looks like I have a, a weird spot there. I think it's from the hat. Anyway, I think it was from your morning. No, I think it's from the hat. My brain is contused. <laughs> so this is like the ultimate spring break. If you're going out to the beach or by the pool. Colorado. Oh, or if I you're love like Colorado. me. You know, just hanging out at the wig shop on spring break. Yes. So um, we're just going to go through a few things. Let me just talk to you a little bit first about how to pack your wig when you're going on oh. vacation. What? Can, you, can you please get that thing off the printer for me? Mm-hmm. I printed out a whole list. We had a customer um, or a client um, email about questions she wanted answered about spring break. And I printed it, but I didn't get it back here. So, All right. Help us out. So this is my um, Simmer by Raquel Welch in um, Cappuccino, which is SS1222. Love this wig. Um, the fiber tears up a good bit. So you can see Alyssa did a great job getting me all these nice, smooth curls. But what you're going to want to do is take your wig and fold it inside out. Like that. Take your two ear tabs on the side and just match them up nice and even, like so. And then what we're showing today is just a slick bubble envelope. Put it inside and then you can just fold it over. Pack that in your suitcase. We usually tell people treat it like your medicine, so pack it with your carry on. Um, and that way, this keeps your wig from rubbing up against anything else, um, getting all messed up, um, and it protects it. So this is the best way we've done. If you don't have a bubble envelope, a um, gallon-sized freezer bag will work just as well. 
Actually, if you're packing it with anything that has liquid in it, a free, uh, the Ziploc bag works better because it's totally oh, protected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like she said, put in your carry-on. Last time I flew to New York, New York City, my hairspray, my flat iron, my hair dryer, everything got lost for two days. I had no luggage. Forget the clothes. I didn't. I mean, I can buy clothes any day, but my hair was a mess, and that's before I knew wigs. Hi, Charlotte. I'm sorry you couldn't make it. Her oncologist said she could. She was supposed to come in tomorrow. Oh, yes. And um, her oncologist wouldn't let her come in because you know of the what? flu. I think that's pretty safe. I think it's good. Um, yeah, you don't need to be in areas where there's a whole lot of germs. And No, and an airport is the absolute <laughs> worst cesspool. place. You're like stuck in <laughs> the air with nasty oh. germs. UK. Hi, Lisa. Oh, Charlotte also says she wants to buy two wigs, Jet and Sky, which one of the, we're going to show Jet again today. We're going to so yeah, we're going to show Jet again today. There's a method to our madness. And Sky, I can't say enough good things about Sky. It's yeah. just a, it's a classic style. It works for so many different people, and it comes in a ton of colors. Okay, so here, um, you already covered some things about packing in a suitcase, inside out, and you know, unless you have like a ton of product in there. What I always tell people, if you got a ton of product in there. Wash it before you go or wear it on your head because if you start packing that in a suitcase, it's going to like totally get. And another reason we tell you to do your carry-on is not only if your luggage gets lost, but the temperature fluctuations. Right. So you want to keep that. Um, she also asked how to keep the friction down. So like she said, putting it in something that's plastic and that kind of protects it. <clears throat> Inside out. Yes. Inside out. Not in a box. And she, she also asked if she needed to save the original netting to use. No, just chunk that. That is, like, no good to you. All right. A question just came out. Do you wear a wig when, when you work out? Okay. Um, wigs are a pretty expensive thing to go work out and get all sweaty in. Um, but I do have a lot of customers that say, look, I just I want to have hair when I work out. I'm used to having hair. I'm going to go to the gym. I don't want to know. The halos are perfect for that. Um, mm -hmm. And so, in fact, what? that's kind of was the genesis for the idea of the ponytail going through the baseball cap because I had a client in last week that said that's how she wore her hair. And I was looking at the halo. I'm like, wow, I think we might actually be able to do this. And it worked. And it's the only time we've ever been able to get some type of um, a wig or a halo to go through the baseball cap mm -hmm. that's always been something that we've always said oh you've got to do a low ponytail well you don't so it's plus great. when you're working out the top of your head is where your body is going to release most of that heat when you're generating you know your body temperature goes up so if you're working out in a wig you're just i don't know inviting yourself to get too hot so either do a scarf and a halo or something like that you know <laughs> with the lady waiting in the doctor's office for her son to see the doctor she's watching us hi Hi, Hi, Sandra. Thank you for watching. Put your mask on, hun. Put Joyce is on. from Illinois, but she's in Tennessee right now. You know, I, I missed it because there's the comments are going really fast, but someone was from Coeur d'Alene, and we also have a wonderful client from Coeur d'Alene, mm -hmm. Shelly. So maybe you guys know each other. Maybe you saw her. She's, like, looking so cute up there in yes, her wig. Yes, she is. She is. Just, like, setting the whole resort on its heels. But <clears throat> All right. Uh, silk pillow. Someone's asking, what about a silk pillowcase? I think you could probably put it in a silk pillowcase. You could. I mean, again, it won't protect it against any kind of, like, cosmetics or leakage or anything. But just whatever works for you. The only thing is just the heat situation. So don't don't be driving to the Grand Canyon in July. You know, <laughs> throw your wig in the trunk and let it sit there for two or three days. Because the heat is too, it's going to set all those creases in. You really want to keep it temperature protected from the heat. And you will be really disappointed when you pull that wig out of the trunk because <laughs> you're not going to dinner. Yeah, in it. <laughs> and a lot of people ask, I mean, well, you know, the heat's bad for it. Is it okay if I'm out in the sun? Yes, if you can handle it, that's fine. But when you've got your wig and it's all, you know, folded up like this and you're putting that where it gets warm in the car, the temperature of the car goes really high, you're just setting all that little crease in. So if it's on your head, you're fine. So. All right, somebody, there was another question. Oh, they Marla. wanted to, um, yeah. Okay, so Marla. Raquel Welch just launched a couple new styles. Um, we ordered them, and they're on their way. Is yes. that right? Okay. We've ordered all, there's three new styles ready for takeoff. Um, <laughs> forgot their names. Yeah, they trademark and I never every name, or they patent every name, so uh, they're always different, and they're always something that nobody else has, and really something you would never really think of. 
I was going to Google it, but it just doesn't matter. We just watch for our review. Okay, so you ready? I guess. All right, so we also figured out Avalon that we showed you last week is oh, yeah. the perfect spring break hair. It is the most versatile hair I think we've come across. So let's go. Oh, good, okay. All right. I, by the way, this is so cute. See, it's camo. Anyway, you can order our hats if you call us. <laughs> yeah, but we're getting low. We need to reorder. We are getting low because everybody lives in. Oh, oh, Linda says ready for takeoff is fabulous. Ready for takeoff. Um, what is the name of that wig? I, just... oh, I don't know. It starts with an I. I want to say it has an I. It starts with an I. But anyway. It's probably like I'm ready for takeoff. <laughs> After today, I think I am ready for takeoff. <laughs> All right. This is a color I have never seen. This is the RTH6-28, which when I heard that color combination, I really thought it was going to be more brown, but it's kind of like a rusty, coppery. Hi, Charlotte yeah. was for, Charlotte's from Carrollton. <coughs> she was in there a couple of weeks ago with her daughter-in-law. Purchase. Okay, yes, please send us pictures. We love pictures. And if you send us pictures, um, let us know um, if we we're able to post them on Facebook. And there's my dad. Hi, Daddy. They're having cornbread and beans. That sounds really, oh, well, it's a yeah. perfect day for that. It sure is. Only thing to make that better is some fried potatoes and a big old onion. If you're from the South, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. All right, so this is Avalon. So what do you, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, this is great for, it, it's, the style is perfect the way it is. Um, but if you wanted to change some things up and do a few different things, we, um, where'd you get these headbands, Missy? Oh gosh, I got these at Ross. Aren't these cute? Just little sparkly they're, headbands and they're yeah. real tiny. I'm going to use the black because the silver's not going to show. Oh, true. Oh, what color are you wearing? Oh, lilac haze. That's the most amazing color ever. You know, Love we it. have we sold out a jet in lilac, lilac haze. We've reordered it. Every single person that puts this color on, I haven't seen anybody that it looked bad on, which is really weird because it's got just enough color to kind of brighten people. Yeah, it, it, it looks... Even without the root, it's not as freaky. In the camera, it looks a little bit more just straight out silver than it does in real life. It really takes on that cute little lavender hue. It's it's just, it's a really pretty color. Yes, people in Texas eats the same as the people in Tennessee and Alabama oh, and gosh. all over See, the that South. that gets me started thinking about my, you know, we just got onions planted in the garden. And then when we have okra, fried okra and onions and sliced tomatoes. Who needs meat when you have all that good garden I was food. talking to someone the other day about okra. All right, so. Okri. If you're from Texas, <laughs> it's okri. All right, so you're just going to go in like so. You're going to leave a little something down here on the side. I don't know what I want to do. Let's see. And then that gives you... This is also a really good way, if you've got one of the lace fronts where it's just hanging in your face and you're really wanting to train it to go away from your face, a headband is a great way to do that. Um, these are loose, which are great. Some headbands are super tight. What's wrong? I don't know. I just had this vision of Glinda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz when I looked in this color and this color. <gasps> You do look like Clinda the Good Witch. <laughs> At least I'm not the bad witch. But um. Oh, um, hi, Susan. Susan's asking who makes lilac haze. Uh, it's an Aesthetica color. And to my knowledge, nobody makes anything quite like it. So it's just beautiful. Anyway, so if you're wanting to train your wig to go back away from your face, a headband's a great way to do that. Um, so anyway, I just stuck it in. So this is just simple. Get it out of your way, out of your face. This so, it's cracking me up. It is cracking me up. So Do you then, want to wear this color? No, thank you. Okay. All right. Vancouver, British Columbia. Hello. All right. So then if you kind of wanted to do something kind of half up, half down, then you could take wow. a little clip. I wonder if I did. I just I've been doing this with my little... own hair lately. It's like... You kind of need to blouse it and get that hairline covered up. <clears throat> what are you doing? Well, I've been like taking my own hair and putting like the top of it up and leaving some of my bang down. Of course, my bang is. 
Um, Susan is asking if Aesthetica makes petite wigs. They do make petite wigs. I don't think they make anything in lilac haze and petite. I, I I would have to check on that, but I'm pretty certain. Do you know about? Do you know the answer to that? Um, I don't know because that's one of those smokehouse colors, and they're not doing them in all their wigs. Maybe a little bit more over here. I just feel like I need to play. All right, so this is what mine looks like. Hold it up like so. Kind of like I did the other day with my um, simmer. It just it, it kind of gets it out of your face. I'm not ready to show mine. <laughs> so, just a little. Okay, yeah, this is not working for me. Why not? I don't know. Got that sexy bang. Yeah. There, that works. So it's just cute. Got that poof. I like my poof. <laughs> Certainly all messy. <laughs> works. Maybe you could even take that and just kind of tuck that a little. There you go. Oh yeah, that works. Oh, I really feel like I got southern hair now. Yeah, you do. If you had a cowboy hat, you'd be like a rodeo queen. <laughs> Get you a little bolo tie. Okay. Do you know, I am Texan. <laughs> I am Texan to the core, but I've never owned a pair of cowboy boots. That's wrong. It is wrong. I went and bought myself a pair for my birthday a few years ago, and I kept them for like two days, and I thought, you know, I really can't justify the cost of these because I don't think I'm going to wear them, and I, I wouldn't have. I want a pair of turquoise cowboy boots. That's what I want. Well, why don't you just buy them? Go, go on down to Cavenders, and we'll get you some. <sighs> Maybe I'll give you some, too. So, anyway, this is Clip. So, you saw the headband. This is Clip. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably going to be easier. We just have one of these big clips. Let me do it on you. Okay. So then you can take one of these big jaw clips. And if you want to do like... <clears throat> okay, well, you need to pull yourself down. Pull, pull yourself oh. way down there. The name of the wigs are um, this Avalon. Wow. Everybody remembers Ready for Takeoff. But does anybody know the names of the other ones? <laughs> Okay, so you could do the same thing, just like leave a couple of little tendrils here and there, which um, you want to make sure the wig grip's not showing. Yeah, I kind of just slap this on. Yeah, it's just, I mean, you would take more time if you were actually going to wear this, but just twist it. I mean, that's like the quickest thing ever. And because it has that curl, it has that cute little poof. It's just cute. Well, and what I love about this, this can literally be, I'm just going to go lay on the beach and read a book. Or this is my going out and putting on a dress hair for dinner. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just, it for some reason, it just works both ways. And the thing about this Avalon wig, because it's got curl, when you pull the tendrils down, they look great. And it's the perfect length where you can pull it up. Um, it's not an overwhelming amount of hair where you've got this big batch that you're trying to pull up. Um, it just works. So we think this wig unfiltered. is... Unfiltered. Unfiltered. That's what I was trying to think of. And I kept saying it started with the I. Okay. That's close. I, you. It's a vowel. All um, right. It's close. Pretty pleasing and unfiltered. So those will be coming in this week. So maybe <laughs> we'll have a review next week. All right. I'm taking my bracelet off. Someone said it's too loud. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah. And that noise in the background was... We are open now. Yeah. So we have clients in here. And so they're actually helping them back there. And that was the blow brush. The infamous blow brush. That's amazing. Um, if you don't have one, you've got to have a blow brush if you wear a wig because that will save it and extend the life of your wig. So I'll put the oh, link. Oh, pretty the please on. is the other one. Yeah, pretty please and unfiltered. Oh, did they already? Yeah, say I that? saw it up there a minute ago, but I may not have said it. All right. So for some people, it's not going to be about pulling their hair up. It's going to be about going shorter. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to show you two short styles. I just realized everything we're showing you today is Aesthetica. Isn't that funny that lately? It's like been our go-to. I mean, but we kind of go back and forth, and we, you know, we do We're a lot not, of John Renault. We try to. We well, none of these companies pay us, so we try to just get a sampling from everyone. But it just so happens at this time, their collection is so good right now. Pay us to not say some things. Yeah, they probably would pay <laughs> us to maybe not be so honest and give our opinion. And oh well. Okay, so we're going shorter. Yes. All right. Let me get my clip out. It ended up being cute. I kind of don't want to take it off. 
You know, I like you that know, color. What color is that? When I had my perm back in the day. Yeah. My bangs were bigger, but this is kind of the way I wore my hair. You had those 80s. I had the tidal wave. It wasn't just a wave. It was a tidal wave. Okay, this is um, Ryan by Aesthetica. You know what I'm going to do, too? What are you going to do? We have had somebody for two weeks now ask about the Veda, and I promised last week if we had time, I would go back and try it on, and I didn't. I forgot. So. Didn't we do a review on the Veda? We we did a, um, a sneak peek video way back when it came out, but it was just real quick, so I just I want to show it with the Veda. Okay. What color map did you give me? This is the RMH 1226RT4. And this is Caramel Kiss Rooted 4. Oh, Kathleen saying they hope that, that we review Jet and Chocolate Smoke. Honey, that's my new favorite wig. I done had that on and wore it. I don't know how many times. Yeah, while well, you were videoing me on Saturday. And oh, yeah. Being all sneaky. Well, we had a rare lull. It's so rare that we have a yeah. little. And if you don't have something to do, you cause trouble. Okay. This is cute. I never cause trouble. I'm not. I'm All right. So later. this is um, Ryan. Gosh, so if this. you wanted something shorter, but you still wanted to have that beachy, wavy look that looked like you just kind of scrunched your hair, this is the perfect look. Yeah. Um, it's and lace if you're front. In the end, it just... It's asymmetrical. It's got a cute, cute neckline and stack. So. If you're wanting to get all the hair off your neck and you don't really want to pull it up, then this would be the way to go. That's you know, we're going to have to switch colors. We are? Okay, we'll switch colors. Because every time we don't switch colors, somebody says, you Yes, Deborah. Colors. Misty is a troublemaker. I have to keep her busy all the time. What's that? An huh? idle mind's a devil's workshop. Well, ain't no devil up in here. <laughs> uh, I like, why haven't I got this? Because I'm all about the messy. You're not, but I'm all about the messy. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Kathleen said she ordered Avalon and chocolate smoke. Oh, I just love it. I, yeah, I wore that too. Tracy got the Jet and Lilac Haze. I'm telling you, that is my favorite short wig ever. It used to be Natalie, but Natalie has been bumped. I'm sorry, John Renault. I still love my Natalie, but... What color is closest to 12FS8? I guess you're asking in Aesthetica. That's going to be 1488RT. Is it 8? 8. 8. Yeah. So um, 1488RT8 is going to be the closest thing Aesthetica is going to make to John Renault's 12FS8. A little a, shiny on these because of the lights. So if you right. are just tuning in, always remember we have really bright lights. And um, just bear in mind the uh, 1488RT8 is a little bit more golden than the 12FS8 by John Renault, but it's still the closest thing you're going to get to it. All right. I like it. Ryan. I love this. This is just fun. It's just tons and tons of fun. So even, okay, even if you are out in the wind, it has a little bit of a bang there. So it doesn't totally cover your eye. And I have a short forehead, like you hear me say all the time. So even if you have a short forehead, it's it'll be okay. Yeah. Well, it also does go back away from your face pretty well. I That's just nice. Love it. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Deborah. Thank you for your kind words. Okay, so we switched colors. All right. So now, <sighs> super. My, now to my my new favorite. Somebody made a comment because in the the video Saturday, I said this is my favorite, and then I was like, my new favorite because I have so many. Well, we both do, and it, it makes you know. There's collections that come out that are just so great from the wig companies there's other collections that come out and they're kind of okay but I mean, they're all um, good for somebody but it, you have to remember these are our personal opinions right on what we would wear and what we wouldn't wear it but doesn't mean it's not good for you or someone else for for what we're showing you today though it is our personal opinion but it's also what we see in working with our clients and what works across a wide array of people with face shapes um um different facial structures and that type of thing. And these wigs work for a whole lot of different people. Um, so Maria just asked what would be the biggest difference between Natalie and Jet. And, you know, we have talked about this. We'll probably do a comparison video because if you've been wearing Natalie and you want to see if there's enough difference for you to warrant getting a Jet, then you'll be able to see side by side. There, There is quite a bit of difference. Okay. So <sighs> Perry, no, we're not Jet. <laughs> Sorry. Um, is lace front 
but is machine made oh, in the cap. So it's super short, asymmetrical. It's just, I and love it. I love, I love how everything like, this about little it. thing is cut. It's super cute. That color looks great on you. Maybe I'll do it for spring break. Gosh, I just love this wig. <laughs> I love I thought you, I love thought you weren't wig. getting a spring break. Well, I'm getting a spring break at the wig shop. Yeah, you do. So this is Jet. Super, super, super short. I, I was in a real big hurry, so I may have like lumps back here, but we'll show you the link. No, it's okay. Oh, well, there's just one little... <laughs> One little thing. It's my wig grip, I think. What is going but that on? Ne <laughs> but look at that neckline. I mean, that neckline is great. And the way it stacks. And it's got good um, height in the crown. So sometimes the crown will flatten out a little bit. This does not. And it, it just hugs the head. I mean, that's the first difference between this and Natalie, is Natalie's longer at the crown. Which well, and is I great. would say sometimes at the crown at Natalie, it does flatten out because those layers uh -huh. are so long. And it does fit a little bit bigger. I mean, this is just, I love it. Um, so we went longest to shortest. Yeah, what are the colors of Jet? Jet comes in a full array of colors. So it comes in brown, it comes in um, blonde without a root. It, I mean, it comes in traditional colors. We're just showing you some of the things that we have in stock so this somebody asked what color this is this is the silver sun root you want to switch yeah and this is lilac Haze. which is like their really platinum cool tone blonde with the dark root okay, no there's really not a lot of gold oh spain wow she's right judy it. says she loves her jet but it scratched her forehead that's a video we got coming up on how to there's a couple of different things you can do to alleviate that scratching all right i have the same issue with some of my John Renaults. I haven't had that issue with my jet at all because it's really soft. There's a person writing in from Spain, and I really don't understand Spanish, but I can tell that what they're asking is, do we carry Ellen Villa? Ellen Villa, I mean. Uh, and we do not. We do not carry that line. No matter what color I put this on, I'll, I just want them all. I want them all. I like this color, too. Uh huh. That's your color. I like this color. I like this color. It's nice color. and cool. If this had just a little bit of a shadow root. Oh, we got another person from Spain. Really? Yeah. What's up in Spain? They must have a... Is there... I don't know, but it's, you know... Well, it's like 6 or 7 o'clock there. So, people are getting home from work. Oh, I just love the fact that, especially on you, because you have those piercings. It's really cute. If you, like, you can tuck that. Or I guess it's on your other ear. But you can tuck that and show your earrings, you know. I just love this. I have no idea whose phone that is. I kind of think it might be mine. I'm pretty sure it is yours. Because <laughs> mine is right here. Um, someone's asking if we ship to Alaska. We ship all over the world. Um, so all you have to do is call the store with shipping information. Um, bear in mind that we're a retail store. This is a whole different experience. So we don't um, accept returns, exchanges, or refunds. So if you're not sure, you don't want to order from us because we'll send it to you, but we won't take it back. So... Um, but we, if you would like to order from us, we'd love to help you. Uh, oh, hi, Wendy. Wendy is in Amsterdam, and we oh, just sent yeah. her uh, Brooklyn and 8H14, and I can't wait for her to get it. So she's going to, she says she's going to take a picture and send it to us. Please do. All right. So this and is. And oh, remember, that reminds me, if you post pictures of yourself, you can put them on our Facebook page or whatever, but just hashtag, use the hashtag Mimi's 20K in 2020. And then when the time rolls around, you'll be entered in for something special. All right. Okay, so now, we're going to show you Veda we're, real quick. We are going to fulfill this request to Veda. To Veda. Are we good on time? Of Veda. That's 1231. Okay. So this is the, um, uh, what am I putting on? That's Illumina Smoky Gray oh, R. No, never mind. Smoky Gray. So this is the Veda, which is just a long bob. Gosh, it seems like so much hair compared to what we just had on. Tammy got a, a Cameron by John Renault. I'm and she says she loves it. That I love that wig. So this is lace front and um full mono. I'm having issues with the bang. But anyway, 
I hope she's still watching I'm because sorry. this is, she asked like three times last week and then a couple times today. So I'm like, I really want to show her the beta. We didn't even bring a brush, but this, this is beta. Super comfortable cap. You know, the thing is when this, this wig is one of those wigs that some people put it on. It looks like a ton of hair. I had a lady try it on yesterday. In fact, in this color and it looked like a ton of hair, but I don't think it looks like a lot of hair on me. Mm -hmm. uh, it lays pretty fat. Yeah. Oh. Do a headband with this too. Charlotte's asking what color my nail polish is. Did you, uh, if you if you saw it in the beginning, you heard my story about me wanting the white with some sparkle, and I picked out this beautiful color, and she said it had too much sparkle. Hi, Carolyn from the UK. Someone says we don't have any sound, but I'm thinking that um, we wouldn't be getting comments if we didn't have sound. Yeah. So this is Veda. Yeah, Deborah. It, I mean, depending on how big your forehead is, you may want to trim it a little bit. Okay, let me type this because they're asking what the hashtag looks like. Let me show you. I'm going to type. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy says there is sound. So that's, this is what the hashtag looks like. Um, it's already got bangs, so you could just uh, follow the pattern that they've cut already. For, for the, the, someone's asking if you could cut bangs. I mm -hmm. mean, they're already there. They just need to be maybe shortened and um, reformed a little bit. Yeah, because I mean, agreed, Brenda. There's never too much no, sparkle. No, we love some sparkle. So that was our spring break episode. <laughs> We have a couple videos that we're going to be uploading hopefully soon. Um, we're going to review. What are we reviewing? <gasps> sweet Talk. Oh, Sweet Talk we and have Fresh Sheet from Gabor. We have not done that um, in a long time. We did Sweet Talk, I know for sure. What else did we do? We fresh Sheet. We haven't done it yet, have we? We've done that one. Didn't we already do it yesterday? Mm -mm. That was Sweet Talk and something else. And Fresh Sheet. No, we didn't do it. Okay, I don't know. Maybe we did. <laughs> well, anyway, and we know for sure there are a lot of reviews on that, but you haven't heard our opinions. So, I mean. <laughs> and again, it's just our opinion. So, look for that. And then make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. I'm, I'm really working on getting those all put together in one spot so you can just click on each one. I just been a little busy. Here's the back of Ada. Yes, here's the back of Ada. Oh, she is still watching. Good. So, beta's good. But anyway, we're on um, YouTube. Just like and subscribe our, to our channel. I can't I even think. Y'all have had a rough morning, so just let Kim All talk. All right, so subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. We're all those places. Um, we are going to do a Fab Fit Fun giveaway. And the way that's going to work, you have to go and watch our Fab Fit Fun video. Um, and then we're going to... Um, do a giveaway um it's on. here and ready to go yeah it's ready to go and so um we'll do that well we've got to do our we'll, we're going to do our unboxing video i have my box but misty hasn't gotten hers yet so yeah, I don't even know once why hers comes in we'll do an unboxing video and then you have to watch that and then on wig talk wednesday we'll um draw a winner mm -hmm. well it's not gonna be a drawing it'll be a trivia question it's a trivia question but remember you have to watch the unboxing video right all right. All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to get to talk to everybody, get to see familiar names come up and answer your questions and just have fun like we always do. One more thing. I just want to address Meredith said it would help in buying if we list the wigs in the description box. We always do. The only ones that don't have them are the really old videos. Everything we do now, we'll list them out. It just takes me some time. Yeah. Last week it was like the end of the day because we get really busy. So they'll be there. And I'll probably timestamp them, so um, it'll be easy for you to find them. But just, just be patient with us. Yeah, they're there. All right, everybody have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye.